Embarking on a journey through the life of Jesus Christ, we delve into the fascinating details of his ministry. After his childhood, there's a mysterious gap in his narrative until he commences his divine mission. Let's explore some intriguing aspects from this epoch of his existence. 1. The commencement of his ministry, Jesus embarked on his divine mission around the age of 30, as stated in Luke 3 verse 23. This aligns with Numbers 4 colon 3, which stipulates that a man must be at least 30 to serve as a priest. Isn't it intriguing how his ministry began at this age? 2. The first miracle, the wedding feast at Cana was the stage for Jesus' first miracle, turning water into wine. This act, demonstrating his supernatural control over physical elements, marked the beginning of his public ministry, John 2 verses 1 to 11. 3. Multilingual Jesus, Jesus was likely multilingual. Aramaic was the primary language of Jews in first century Palestine, and he would have studied the Torah in Hebrew. But did he also speak Greek? It's plausible that his conversations with the centurion, Matthew 8 verses 5 to 13, and Pilate, Matthew 27 verses 11 to 14, were in Greek, the lingua franca between Romans and Hellenistic Jews. 4. Solitude and Prayer Despite his very public ministry, Jesus often sought solitude for prayer and rejuvenation, Matthew 14 verse 23, Mark 1 verses 12 and 35, 14 32, Luke 6 verses 12 to 13, 9 18. How important do you think this practice was to his ministry? 5. The dietary habits. Contrary to some beliefs, Jesus was not a vegetarian. Like most Jews, he consumed animal products, including fish, Matthew 14 verse 19, and lamb during Passover, Luke 22 verse 15. 6. Teaching through parables. Jesus often used parables, or illustrative stories, to deliver impactful messages. While some of his parables were straightforward, others were more cryptic, leading his disciples to question his approach, Matthew 13 verses 10 to 13. What do you think was the purpose of these parables? 7. Emotional Jesus. The Gospels depict Jesus as a passionate figure who showed a range of emotions, from anger, Matthew 21 verses 12 to 13, to compassion, Matthew 9 verses 36 to 38, 21 12, Mark 1 verse 41 and even tears, Luke 19 verses 41 to 44, John 11 verse 35. How does this contrast with modern portrayals of Jesus? 8. Fasting and Temptation Jesus, like Moses and Elijah, fasted for 40 days. It was during this period of severe starvation that the devil tempted him in the desert, Matthew 4 verses 1 to 11. 9. Quoting Deuteronomy, when Satan tempted Jesus in the desert, Jesus responded with passages from Deuteronomy. This highlights the importance of knowing the scriptures well. How do you think this knowledge helped Jesus resist temptation? 10. Referring to God as, Father, Jesus' prayers reveal a deep relationship with God, whom he referred to as, Abba, or, Father, John 11 verses 41 to 43, Matthew 26 verse 39, Luke 23 verse 34. 11. Claiming divinity, Jesus claimed to be God, as evidenced when he referred to himself using the name God gave Moses from the burning bush, Exodus 3 verse 14, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was born, I am. John 8 verse 58. The Pharisees understood this claim and its implications, John 5 verse 18. As we conclude this exploration, one question remains, how do these aspects of Jesus' ministry influence your understanding of his life and teachings? 12. Jesus' Healing Ministry Jesus was renowned for his healing ministry. He cured the sick, gave sight to the blind, and even raised the dead. His miracles were a testament to his divine power and love for humanity. How do you think these miracles influenced the people around him? 13. Jesus' Disciples Jesus had 12 main disciples, who were his closest followers. They played a crucial role in his ministry and the establishment of the early Christian church. Can you name all of them? 14. Jesus' Teachings on Love one of the central themes of Jesus' teachings was love. He taught his followers to love God and to love their neighbors as themselves, Matthew 22 verses 37 to 39. How do you interpret this commandment in your daily life? 15. Jesus' Crucifixion and Resurrection Jesus was crucified by the Romans, a brutal form of execution. However, Christians believe that he rose from the dead three days later, conquering death and sin. This event is celebrated as Easter. What significance does Easter hold for you? 16. Jesus' Ascension After his resurrection, Jesus ascended to heaven in the presence of his disciples, Acts 1 verse 9. This marked the end of his earthly ministry and the beginning of his heavenly reign. How does the ascension impact your understanding of Jesus' divinity? 17. Jesus' Second Coming 
the New Testament prophesies that Jesus will return to earth in the future, an event known as the Second Coming. This is a fundamental belief in Christian eschatology. What are your thoughts on the Second Coming? 18. Jesus' Influence Jesus' teachings have had a profound impact on the world, influencing art, culture, ethics, law, literature, music, philosophy, and more. His life and teachings continue to inspire millions of people around the world. How has Jesus' life and teachings influenced you personally? As we delve deeper into the life and teachings of Jesus, it's clear that his influence extends far beyond his time on earth. His ministry continues to shape our world in countless ways. What aspects of Jesus' ministry resonate with you the most? Why? 19. Jesus' Teachings on Forgiveness Jesus emphasized the importance of forgiveness in his teachings. He urged his followers to forgive others, just as God forgives their sins, Matthew 6 verses 14 to 15. How do you practice forgiveness in your life? 20. Jesus and the Sabbath Jesus had a unique approach to the Sabbath. He taught that, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath, Mark 2 verse 27. This suggests that the Sabbath should be a day of rest and worship, not a burden with strict rules. How do you observe the Sabbath? 21. Jesus' view on wealth Jesus warned about the dangers of wealth. He taught that it is difficult for a rich person to enter the kingdom of heaven, Matthew 19 verse 24. Instead, he encouraged generosity and helping the poor. How do you interpret Jesus' teachings on wealth? 22. Jesus and Children Jesus had a special place for children in his ministry. He said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these, Matthew 19 verse 14. What do you think this says about Jesus' view on innocence and faith? 23. Jesus' Final Command Before ascending to heaven, Jesus gave his disciples the Great Commission, to make disciples of all nations, baptizing them and teaching them to obey his commands, Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20. How do you see this command being carried out today? 24. Jesus Promise Jesus promised his followers that he would be with them always, even to the end of the age, Matthew 28 verse 20. This promise brings comfort and hope to many Christians. How does this promise resonate with you? 25. Jesus Impact The life and teachings of Jesus have had a profound impact on the world, shaping cultures, societies, and individual lives. His message of love, forgiveness, and salvation continues to inspire and transform people. How has Jesus' life and teachings impacted your life? As we continue to explore the life and teachings of Jesus, it's clear that his influence is far-reaching and transformative. What aspects of Jesus' life and teachings have had the most impact on you? Why? 26. Jesus' Legacy The legacy of Jesus is immeasurable. His teachings have transcended time and geographical boundaries, reaching billions of people across the globe. His message of love, compassion, forgiveness, and salvation continues to guide and inspire countless lives. In conclusion, the life and ministry of Jesus Christ offer a wealth of knowledge and inspiration. From his teachings to his miracles, from his compassion to his wisdom, every aspect of his life carries profound significance. His influence extends beyond the religious sphere, shaping our cultures, societies, and individual lives. As we reflect on the life and teachings of Jesus, we are reminded of the transformative power of love, compassion, and faith. His life serves as a beacon of hope, guiding us towards a path of righteousness and peace. Whether you're a believer or not, the life and teachings of Jesus offer valuable lessons about love, forgiveness, sacrifice, and the pursuit of truth. His teachings continue to inspire and guide us in our daily lives, encouraging us to live with love, kindness, and humility. So, as we end this exploration of Jesus' life and ministry, let's carry forward his teachings in our hearts and actions. Let's strive to live by his example, spreading love, peace, and kindness in our world. What aspects of Jesus' life and teachings will you carry with you from this discussion? How will they influence your actions and decisions in the future? Remember, the journey of understanding and following Jesus' teachings is a personal and ongoing one. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep growing in your faith and understanding. Thank you for joining this enlightening journey through the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. Until next time, stay blessed and inspired.